G'day guys and welcome back to the channel, King Dino's Adventures. I'm King Dino, this is Twyla, we've got Adam in making sandwiches and we're on our way to, where are we going Adam? To We're not going to Shepparton, we're going to Bright. So we're so excited because for such a long time now we've wanted to go to Bright but we haven't been able to get in, they're always booked out. It, looks like an amazing place we're probably a little bit early for seeing the trees turn orange and all the different reds and different colors but that's okay we're happy Shall to we go the, the yeah i know that i know that but i'm just telling them that you definitely got to go there when they are those colors but we're going when they're green so anyway we've pulled over on the side of the road along the hume and we are making ourselves some lunch while well, adam's making my lunch for me right now and then we're gonna head off. Twyla, what are you having for lunch? She's not saying much today. All right, let's go. So our very first stop is the information center. We thought we'd come down here, check out everything, grab a whole heap of leaflets. Now we're staying at a free campsite tonight. So we thought we'll read over them tonight, have some dinner, and then plan out our adventure for this weekend. Can't wait, so let's go. So we're just on our way to the campsite for the night and um, we've just pulled over about four minutes away from there and uh, we've hit this dirt road. The dirt road goes on the way there, goes for about six minutes. It's actually quite nice, it's like a clay road. Um, but we just pulled over because just on this side, check out this, how awesome. The water is flying because we've had so much rain and all the rest of it. And it looks so beautiful. So Adam's like, pull over, let's, let's check it out. Anyway, let's have a look. So we've just made it to our young camping ground. This is a free camping ground. And so far there's a few people set up around us. It looks really nice. It's a very flat area, which is awesome. And yeah, well, the best part is it's free. So here we are. There's a few people set up over there. And then this is us. We've kind of plopped ourselves right in the middle <laughs> and uh, this would be good. So we're set up for the night and Adam's in the van right now. He's whipping up an antipasto platter for dinner tonight. It's gonna to be so yummy. I'm looking forward to it. And it looks like everyone else is getting their fires started. We had some brute of a man <laughs> over pulling down an old dead tree and then cutting it up for firewood. It's all it's all happening down at this site, but um, it's pretty um, family friendly kind of vibe. So, which is always nice. You feel a bit more safer when you're camping in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, well, I'm gonna enjoy my vino and uh, looking forward to Adam's platter.
So this morning I'm whipping up some French toast. We've got our coffee and Adam is somewhere outside. Oh, there he is. Taking Twilo for her morning toilet run. People are slowly getting up. This guy there getting his stuff out, ready for the day. The kids that were over there, they're up and out. So, yep, just another morning. Breakfast is ready, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Did Twilight end up going to the toilet? No, she's a bit, no, she's a bit sick. Oh, she's not feeling well today. Stop it. No barking. You're in the can. No barking. What are you doing, Adam? Oh, Polly put the kettle on. Nah, it's um, it's just nice and warm. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just warming my hands up. No, no, no. Just heading out for a morning hike. Now, just at the back of the campsite is a trail down to the river. So we thought we'll do that. And uh, Twyla's been aching to get out. There's another dog at the campsite and she's been crying a morning one to play with it but that dog might be just a little bit too big for Twyla but anyway this is a beautiful walk and um I can hear the river already looks so beautiful down here and you can hear this like I said all the way up where the van is you can hear this running all night and it's quite soothing but um looks so nice if you had some kayaks you'd be having a great time now if you do decide to come to this camping ground just make sure you got plenty of water because there is no running taps or um, tanks here and also there is a drop toilet it's reasonably clean but you know you got your friendly spiders in there but you know if you're camping what do you expect all right guys well we're leaving here and heading back into bright so we just picked ourselves up a coffee and we're walking around the town and just exploring because we've never been here and it actually looks quite big. I'm quite surprised how big it is. But anyway, well, I'm gonna enjoy our coffee and go explore. So we've just come down from looking at all the shops and we're down at this park. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just across the water from the Bright Riverside Holiday Park. But we're actually staying a little bit further up at the Big Four Caravan Park tonight, which I'm looking forward to. And um, yeah, so it's down here. It is absolutely beautiful. Twyla is loving it. There's a lot of dogs off lead, so I'm watching out for that because I'll get a bit paranoid about Twyla. And um, yeah, it's gonna be nice. So we've just come down to Adam, what's it called? Wong Wang Dilong. The Wang Dilagong. There we go. Wang Dilagong. Chinese bridge in the Wang town of Wang Dilagong. Well there you go. Yeah. Say that. That's a mouthful. Um, Say it five needs, times. Um, who needs seashell seashell for the seashore? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs>
So we thought this would be a nice place for lunch. We walked over the Chinese bridge. We've walked around, it does a bit of a loop and then it comes around to this bridge, which is quite pretty in itself. Um, this one was built 35 years ago because it got burnt in fires and it's been in floods, it's been in everything. <laughs> but they had the history of the two bridges at the bridges. And also we have got a really nice car spot to have our lunch. Check this out. There's our van and the view for lunch is pretty much this. So it's gonna be a nice lunch. Yeah, open up the blinds. Let's have some lunch. Yummo, Twyla. Lunch with a view. So I've just arrived to the Big Four Bright and it is looking amazing. It's got a beautiful canopy over our van here and it's very green. They have a lot of stuff, but we'll have a look around later. But yeah, check this out. This is where we're staying tonight, under this beautiful tree. And then we've got a bit of an area where we can set up and have our barbecue tonight. Now we're gonna lock up the van and head into town and I hear there's a brewery. We might go check that out. So literally a three minute, two minute walk from Big Four Caravan Park. You've got this massive area that's all done up like a water park. It looks like so much fun for the whole family. We would love to let Twyla jump in, but I don't think they'd be too happy about that. But check this out. Look at this, there's so much to do here. How much fun's this? Go in the water, Twyla. <laughs> oh, you love it. So I've just arrived to Bright Brewery. It looks amazing here. The sun is out, it is so nice. We've just done an order and it's on its way out. We're getting a panel each, um, which has about, how many beers was it? You said paddle. Paddle, paddle, paddle. <laughs> I said it wrong. But anyway, and how many has it on it? Six. Six, so you get six different beers. So we're trying one of them each. And we've also ordered some, I think, potato skins or something. So anyway, this looks good. What have we got here, Adam? Uh, we've got a set of six. Six gears. Oh, yes. So we've got these ones. What's on the back? Oh, we don't know which one. But you've got an Alpine Lager, a Blowhard Pale Ale, an MIA beer, 6.5%. <laughs> A uh, Hellfire and Ale, a Bright Sour Mixed Drink, and a Razor Wit Beer. Nice. So. All right, well, let's taste. With number, are oh, you having number six, are you? Oh, okay, number one. Number one. Alpine. number one. Cheers. Cheers. So we just finished our beers and now we're doing the canyon walk, which you can do literally from the main street, walk down and then it's a, about a three and a half K? Yeah, four K. Four K walk. And um, supposedly if you do it in the afternoon, um, it looks even prettier. So I'm gonna go do that now and walk off some of that beer.
So we're back in town now from our walk. It was so good. Make sure if you're gonna do this walk, do both sides. So we did kind of like a figure eight with the two bridges and it was fantastic. The views are amazing. I hope you've really enjoyed this walk with us. And um, I think Twyla is definitely now a new fan of water. She has loved it. She's dipped her feet in a few times. It's been awesome. So anyway, gonna go back to camp now. We're actually gonna have our first showers in 24 hours. And also we're gonna have a barbecue. So we've got tea on. We've got a few chops, some little specialty chops and two sausages. This is the book that I picked up today down the shops. I'm so excited about looking at this because I might have to do a few episodes where I make some of these recipes. And then I've got Twyla over here. Twyla, stop digging. Oi, stop digging. She was um, up on the table before trying to get some of the sausages before it got turned on. Anyway. I could do that. So we're just ending this day with a walk around town at night. Everything's lit up, it looks so beautiful. I really now feel like I'm in a little snow village without the snow, but it is so cute. And there's so many wooden uh, wood fires going and burning in the restaurants, it's so nice. Anyway, we're gonna head back to camp and go to bed and see what we get up to tomorrow. Adam, I made you a coffee, but it looks like uh, you might not be able to get up. Someone's decided to make their selves comfortable. Mm -hmm. Twyla, that's one way to get daddy up. <laughs> Morning, coffee guys. Okay. Twyla, what are you doing? Oh, she's manning the fort. Here's your breakfast. Oh, she's barking your bikes and elderly, elderly men today. Elderly men you're barking at. She's got to stop picking on these people. All right, enjoy your breakfast. We just stopped off at the Beechworth Bakery. We picked up some morning tea and I've got myself a large coffee. Yum, real coffee. And we're just gonna go to one of the two lookouts that we're going to go to today and um, enjoy it, there. if we can get there. What do you mean? Oh, well, yes, it's very this hard. Town, this place, yeah, well, this, the, the mountains are they're semi pet friendly. Yeah, they're not, not really pet friendly. So we can only go to certain places that allow dogs. But this one is, so let's go. So we've just driven up a pretty steep hill and uh, now we're about to start our walk to the Apex, Apex Lookout Walk. It's a, let me read the sign. It's a 3K walk up and back and it's all uphill. So we've got this car park here. It was really hard to find a car park, um, but we've managed to get one because as you can see, these cars somehow got up here, but this, the road's so bumpy. And I don't want to knock out our water tank. Um, so anyway, so this is a hill we're about to go up to. Adam's just putting slip, slopping, slapping, and uh, ready for the sun because it's quite a nice day. All right, well, let's go on this walk.
So we made it to the top. We're a bit out of breath. High five. Woo! We did it. And the reward for walking up this bloody steep hill <laughs> Woo! is this. Just stopped on the way down because we found an echidna. Look at him, he's all curled up. He's a bit scared of me. I'll, I'll leave him alone in a sec, but I just want to show him to you. Look at him, he's so cute. Hello, Mr. Echidna. Hello. All right, we'll leave you alone and we'll keep. Finally made it back to the van. Whew, it's time to have a little bit of a rest. Twyla survived. How do you feel, Adam, after that? Oh. After the big walk. Hot. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to be frazzled. She's trying to get stuff out of her hair. Yeah. <laughs> Time for a brush, a rest, a drink, yeah. and then let's head back into town. We have just managed to get a car park in probably one of the busiest car parks in all of Bright. And look at the view we've got. We've just parked here. Now, we wouldn't have been able to park here if our van was any bigger than six metres. Um, but because we have the short wheelbase, we can park in normal car park and enjoy these kind of views. Anyway, Adam is busy making us lunch. There he is, having sandwiches again. Yeah. And just going to sit back and enjoy the view. So now we're, the whole family's in the water. Just we're about. here. <laughs> well, Twyla's had her. Twyla's and had her now man. Twyla's getting out because she's like, I've had my swim, I want to go home. <laughs> but yeah, no, the water's quite nice. And um, it's a bit hard on you. If you've got one of those those shoes to wear, bring them down, you know, the water shoes, whatever they call them, because um, it might help your feet. Crocs. Crocs? No, not Crocs. Anyway, shoes to protect your feet in the water. But um, not that they're sharp rocks, but they're just hurt feet. Anyway, that's what I think. So we've just come for a last minute walk before we head in to have dinner. Um, this is the Cherry Walk. Now this is runs the opposite way to the Canyon Walk that we did yesterday. But this one feels a bit more, what do you think Adam, a bit more like you're in the bush, yeah? Well, we are in the bush. Well, we are in the bush. <laughs> but it's a bit more green with, with, you know, trees. I mean, it was like that yesterday, but... I don't know, I just feel like this one's a bit more bushwalky. You're more isolated here. More isolated, yes. But um, some really beautiful points on the, along the way. But just down here, we're going to try to find that tomorrow on the other side of the river to go for a swim with Twyla because it looks a bit secluded and doesn't look like many people get down there. But we'll see. There could be a whole heap of people down there. But I don't know. But anyway, let's walk back and... Uh... This is 
is a nice um, a nice addition to Big Four. So we've got the pizzas. So we've got pizzas made on the spot and a couple of um, well, soft drink choices. So yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just got back for the day watching this week's episode but you'll be watching this last week and the one we're on right now next week <laughs> while we're enjoying our cranky wine that we got a few episodes ago you can check out that video i think we were there about three weeks ago and adam's made us a nice cheese putter and adam's watching the very simple very simple yes leftovers leftovers although it does look pretty good and Twyla's just chilling out on the ground next to us. Nice. She had a bed and she decided, she decided yeah, we, to do it. We brought her this bed a long time ago and she's preferring the ground right now. So big day, big day. All right, let's enjoy the video. Our very last night dinner Whoa. before we leave. We had our garlic pizza for entree and now our barbecue. Yum. So it's our last day here. So we've packed up and left the Big Four Caravan Park and we've headed into town for one last coffee. And then we're gonna head somewhere pretty special for lunch. Hopefully we can find where it is. On our walk yesterday, we found a great location. Um, so we're hoping we can get down there and actually have a swim and have our lunch there. So here you goes. But yeah, we're gonna enjoy town for now. So we've decided to grab a coffee from Gumtree Pies. It looks really nice and the pies, I couldn't go past one, even though it's not really breakfast food, but um, <laughs> having a pie, cappuccino, got Adam a piece of cheesecake. It was actually, what was it called? It was a New York, uh, New York baked, New York baked cheesecake. It looks absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so we're just gonna chill out here, have our coffees and um, I'm sure Twyla will want a taste of the pie too. So about a 20 minute drive, we've come to Tawonga Gap to check out this incredible view. Look at this, absolutely amazing. So we've just arrived in the town, Mount Beauty. It is such a little cute town. And um, there's lots of little restaurants and cafes, and they've got a whole heap of little shops. And so, yeah, we just thought we'll pull up down here. So at the bottom of that big mountain that we were just on. And um, yeah, we just thought we'll look around here and then head back. So we've had a little walk around Mount Beauty and now we've come down to this little lake, you could call it, I suppose. And um, we're just having our lunch. Look at our view for today. And Adam is busy making our sandwiches again. So yeah, we're just gonna have sandwiches by the lake.
So for our very last stop on this trip before we head home, we have come back to Bright and we've found this little beach, you could call it. Um, and it is so cute. Oh, what was it called actually? Was it called European Beach? Euro yeah. yeah, European Beach. And um, there's only a few people down here, not many at all. And it's basically on a big bend. So the water goes all the way around. And then you've got the point right here where there's rocks and we left our stuff there. And I am in the water up to my knees. <laughs> and Twilight is absolutely loving it. There's another dog down here playing. Adam and Twyla are in the car and ready to go home. That is it for another Crazy Adventures. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check out all our old episodes of us traveling around, even our lockdown videos, cooking videos. There is so much on our channel at King Dino Adventures, something for everyone. Also, make sure you stay tuned next week for another episode. And if you're loving our channel, please do us a favor, go down the bottom, like, subscribe, tell everyone about us. And also you can follow us on Instagram at kingdino underscore adventures. And uh, yes, we will see you next week. But for now, see you later guys.